Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Norwegian cruise experts. And today, I have the great pleasure of being on the beautifully, newly renovated Norwegian Gem. This incredible ship has something for every member of the family. It sails to the far-flung reaches of our Earth, and it does it in style. Now I'm gonna take you through all the public spaces on board here today. Keep in mind, we do have all the rooms and suites on our channel as well. But before we dig in, make sure when you're ready to book your next cruise with Norwegian, Regent, or Oceana, you reach out to your Har Travel advisor or book it right on hardtravel.com. We know we can help craft your cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value. And of course, you always get the Har Travel signature service every step of the way. Now, as I mentioned, the Norwegian Gem recently underwent an extensive renovation. You'll see it right here behind me on the pool deck, and you'll see it throughout the entire ship. If you've cruised on the Gem before, you're gonna really be surprised and blown away by what incredible shape she's in. Now, we've started off just above the pool deck. Right here is actually where you're gonna find the jogging deck, and then you also have quite a few loungers up on the top. This is a great place where you can get some sun, and then down below, you'll see that you have loungers wrapped all the way around the pool. They're also gonna have some tables and chairs that are underneath the shaded area. Now that also it works as an extension of the garden cafe, but right below me, there's a full bar and grill. I love that concept that Norwegian uses where they really spread people out. You're gonna have the full buffet, we'll take you there in a bit. You've got the great outdoors in the aft. You got the pool grill just behind me as well. Lots of places to find a delicious bite to eat. Now on the far side, you're also gonna find some more bar service. Of course, you gotta have a great pool bar if you're gonna have a wonderful pool like this. The bartenders are the best in the business. They're gonna keep you smiling, laughing, and of course, most importantly, keeping those drinks flowing. Keep in mind that most of our guests do get the premium beverage package. If you wanna consider the premium plus, there's some wonderful upgrades that are offered. Of course, your hard travel advisor can go through all of that with you. You may wanna consider upgrading your entire experience to one of the Haven suites, or just adding on the free at C plus, so you get all the extras. Now, just behind me, you're also gonna see the Bally High Bar. So this is the bar on the second deck. There's a bar on each level. Of course, you can sit at the bar, you can sit in the areas around it as well. And that one has a larger smoking area if you're looking for it. Now, just up above that, you have a large sun deck as well. Once again, there's plenty of space to spread out, get catch some rays. Now, as we head forward on the ship, you're gonna see two large pools down below. They're really nice size and they're actually perfect for swimming laps if you go earlier in the morning or in the evening. Now you're also gonna have four hot tubs down there. You can get a better view of the top ciders bar and grill right now. I love that it's more than just a pool grill, it's actually a full buffet for you. Now right in the middle of the deck, you're gonna find a large bandstand. They've got all the speakers, they actually have lights set up all the way around. They're gonna do some incredible parties on board. The Glow Party is one of the ones they're most famous for, 80s party, lots of places where you could sing, dance, and have a blast together. Now for me personally, what I love is the fact that that Caribbean music starts kicking up as soon as you sail away and you know you're gonna have an incredible time. Now I wanted to stop for a minute and just point up above there. That's where you're gonna find the two massive garden villas. They're three bedrooms, three and a half baths. They're really truly incredible. You can see that on our channel if you're interested. Now I stepped up onto the upper sun deck just to show you how much more space there is to spread out. Now this ship is gonna cruise all around the world. I mentioned it earlier. Right now we're in the Porta Civita Vecchia for Rome. It's actually getting ready to start an incredible Mediterranean season. It'll head back over to Miami, do the Caribbean, Panama Canal, and so much more. This ship truly can go to anywhere on earth. Now I also wanted to point out that they finally found a shower big enough for me. Let me check it out. Now those of you who watch our channel know that I don't fit in every shower on a cruise ship. I had them make this special for me. They even made the knobs big enough. Let's crank that hot water up. Now we continue to head it forward to show a little bit more sun deck space. They have loungers that'll wrap all the way around the side. It's a great place to be too when you're cruising in and out of some of the most scenic parts of our world. You've got glass all along the front there. You can sit back, relax, get the same views as the captain, and even take a dad nap or two. Now we're inside the chapel here on board. I love that they still have it. So many cruise ships have eliminated that. It's a great place to gather together for some prayer. They'll often do passenger led services in here, but it's also just a great way to sneak away and meditate. All the way at the very top forward part of the ship, you're gonna find the Spinnaker Lounge. Now this is a beautiful observation lounge. 
You're gonna find windows wrapped all the way around. You've got seating along the windows. You also have stadium style seating here, looking down at the bandstand and stage. So right now I'm on the dance floor here. They'll do some great entertainment, especially in the evenings here. During the day, they might use it for a lecture or playing some different games, trivia, things along those lines. But what I love this space for is coming up, having a dance, maybe listen to some great music before you head on out and have a delicious meal. Now this is one of those spots where you can really see all the incredible upgrades on the ship. They replaced all the furniture in here. They redid the upholstery. They also redid part of the structure as well. Now, all the way behind me, you're gonna find the full bar. It wraps completely around. And I love this space for a lot of reasons. I also mentioned the fact that they have the bandstand here. My wife loves to come and sneak away during the day. It's a great place to sew because all the light coming in. Now, keep in mind, if you're cruising in some of the scenic parts of our world, this is that perfect spot to get a seat right looking out the front of the ship or the side. Now we're up on the sport court. There's an enormous amount of outdoor fun that you can take advantage of here on board. Now, growing up as the son of a basketball coach, we spent a lot of time up here throughout the days. Players playing basketball, but they have soccer. They'll have pickleball, tennis, lots of great fun to be had. In fact, let's see if I make my dad proud if there's anything still left in the tank. No, that's about normal. We can check and see if the bank's open. No, that's very normal. All right, let's see. Let's see. I think maybe I was too close in. What do you think, Taylor? Nope, that's it. Now just up above the sport court, they've got stadium style seating so you can watch the action. And then above that, you've got a rock climbing wall. A lot of fun to be had by all. This beautiful space is the Haven Courtyard. Now it's only accessed by those guests who are in a designated Haven suite. And to me, it's a really wonderful upgrade. You'll see they have dining tables set up here. You also have a small setup with coffee and juice. So they'll use this for light bites. Now keep in mind, your butler can do a lot of things. They can arrange food and meals all around the ship for you. Now in the space itself, right in the middle, you're gonna have a pool. Now it's not a large pool, but it's really a nice place to cool off. I love that they've got all these extra comfy padded loungers around the side. Perfect place to grab a book, especially on a sea day. They're extra padded with those terry cloth covers. Really nice compliment. Now, in addition to having the pool here, you're also gonna have a large jacuzzi hot tub tucked over in the corner. And then right around there, you're gonna have separate bathrooms with steam rooms for ladies and gentlemen. Now, I did wanna point out that this has a Magra Dome up above, so they can open it or close it based on the weather. Today, it's a beautiful day in Civitavecchia for Rome, and you can see that they have it partially open, so you have that great breeze coming in to enjoy. Now keep in mind the Haven space is more than just this. You're gonna have the private sun deck up above. Let's head on up and check that out. Now the Haven sun deck is a private space, as I mentioned, just for those guests who are in designated Haven suites. In addition to that, this is also a 16 and up area. So if you're looking for more of a relaxed, adults only experience, this is the perfect spot for that. So you've got more of the comfy loungers on the far side. You've got day beds. You also have day beds tucked underneath these cabanas. They're all first come, first serve. And then you're also gonna have these really comfortable chairs and then also chairs and tables set up. They do provide cocktail service up here as well. They've got umbrellas, so you can have them adjust those as you prefer. And you can imagine sitting up here on a beautiful sea day while you enjoy the ocean. It's a wonderful spot to be. Now we're headed into the Garden Cafe. Now this is the casual buffet style option for breakfast, lunch, and dinner each day. So the offerings are gonna mix and match throughout the day. You'll see right here, they've got a bread station, they've got soups, and then one of our all-time favorites is of course the made-to-order pasta. So you've got pastas here that they'll make for you. They also have different styles of noodle soups that they'll make to order as well. Now all along, you're gonna find a lot of redundancy. So you've got salad bars on either side. You've got the hot favorites on either side as well. They've got a large selection of vegetarian, Asian. I really have enjoyed the Indian food here on board. You've got cold cuts and all kinds of different styles of pre-made salads. All of your favorite cheeses here, including some delicious looking blue cheese. And then once again, you get to the salad bar again and tucked in the far corner is the hamburger grill. Now keep in mind, this is lunch. For dinner, it's going to evolve. And also for breakfast, they'll have egg stations, pancakes, French toast, and all your favorites. Now we all know the food's good, but it's the dessert where it's at. So right here behind me is the ice cream bar. They always have some great complimentary options to choose from. Right behind me is actually the most important part of any cruise ship. It's the soft serve ice cream. So all along the far side, you're gonna find the desserts as well. Lots of great casual grab and go options. Now you're gonna find drink stations in several spots in the buffet. You've got drip coffee, decaf and regular. You've got hot water. You're also gonna have the Nestle Vitality water. 
So right now, because we're in the afternoon, you've got iced tea, tropical mango, lemonade, orange passion fruit. For breakfast, you'll have apple juice, orange juice, and all of your favorites. In addition, you've got the ice machines, and they always have a great collection of teas if you want to stop by and make one, along with honey and lemon. Now there's a ton of different seating options in the Garden Cafe. I love these booths that they just updated. You have tables for two along the windows. You got tables for four and six. Now keep in mind, I generally go all the way to the back, especially on boarding day, because people tend to congregate in the beginning and stop. So you can grab your food and head back. Right around the corner, they also have a great kids buffet. And then we're gonna head to the very aft where you have the great outdoors. Now the great outdoors is a feature that I love on quite a few different Norwegian ships. You've got the full extension of the buffet. They also have a grill back here, all the drink stations. But what this is all about is dining outside. I love to dine al fresco. They've got a nice large shaded area to take care of that weather in case it's a little inclement. But all the way around, you can sit in the sun. There's no better place to be than in the back of a cruise ship. Now from this angle, you can get a better perspective of the giant tent that's out here. You also have the tables that are right along the aft, my favorite spot. And of course, if you're gonna have an outdoor dining venue, you've gotta have a great bar. So they've got full bar service out here. You can sit at the bar or they'll provide service all around. Always the most popular specialty dining option on board is Cagney's Steakhouse. It's that old school classic steakhouse thrown all the way back to Jimmy Cagney. Now you've got an open style kitchen. I love that because as soon as you walk in, you get hit by all of those delicious smells. And as I mentioned, it is a truly unapologetic steakhouse menu. You can start off with that lobster bisque, work all the way through with the deliciousness of the appetizers. Though for me, it's all about that ribeye steak. My wife loves the surf and turf with the filet mignon. Whatever it is that you like on the steakhouse menu, they're sure to have it here and they do an incredible job with it. Now fittingly, since we're in Italy, we are now in La Cucina. This is the classic Italian trattoria here on board. You're sure to enjoy because everyone likes Italian food. You're gonna find all your favorites. I always start with that insalata caprese, work all the way through to your favorite pastas. It's gotta be carbonara for me. And I really love the filet of beef. It's absolutely delicious. You'll see that they have tables along the window. So you've got tables for two, tables for four. Of course, they can accommodate larger groups as well. Now, one of the great things about this particular restaurant is they added in the pizza oven. So now you can also add pizza to the menu absolutely delicious any time of the evening. Now, one of the delicious specialty restaurants here on board is Moderno Churrascaria. Now, this is that classic Brazilian steakhouse experience. And if you're a carnivore like me, you're really going to love it. Now, you've got the sugar cane mojito bar right behind me. I do love a great mojito. And now we're gonna step into the restaurant. So down the middle, you're gonna have a salad bar. You got lots of light bites that you can grab and go. And then at the tables themselves, you're gonna have a red and green dot. So you flip it over when you quit, that's the red. I guess it should be a white flag at that time, but you can pick as much as you'd like. Now they're gonna come around with quite a few different options from sausages, you got beef, you got chicken, everything in between, absolutely delicious. So now we're headed into the Mandara Spa. Those of you who are spa lovers, you're gonna really enjoy what you can get here. Now you can get all your favorite facials, massages, a wide variety of treatments. You can also take advantage of their upgraded retail options. You definitely wanna stop by on boarding day. That's gonna make sure that you can do a full tour of the space and check it out. So now we're headed into the full service salon. You can get all your favorite hair treatments that you can at home. They've got some great upgraded products. Their partnership with Keristis from Paris and Elemis. So you can see they've got the salon stations here. They also have a spot for pedicures and manicures. I'm gonna head right around the corner. This is a spot that I love to visit. They also have a full barber shop, so you can get a shave, a haircut. They also do some wonderful men's facials as well. So lots of great options here to pamper yourself. We wanted to step inside one of the treatment rooms to show you what it's all about. You can see this is a single treatment room. They have quite a few different options for you to choose from. Now, my personal favorite is the hot stone massage combined with the Swedish massage and the bamboo massage. In fact, I just love a massage in general. It's wonderful, especially when you're going out on a shore excursion to come back and have some relaxation. Now keep in mind that on the, say, on the sea days, it does fill up a lot quicker. And then on port days, oftentimes you'll have promotions if you're looking for a discount. Now, in addition to all the massages, you're gonna have facials, they have acupuncture, they also have some Medi Spa treatments. It's really quite expansive. And if you love the spa, you're gonna really enjoy the Mandara Spa here on board. Now, one of the great upgrades to the spa experience is the thermal suite. Now, it's set up a little bit differently on the gem than a lot of ships. You're gonna have two separate areas, a gents and a ladies changing room and thermal suite. But right in the middle, you share the large hydrotherapy area. Let's tour the space. Now you start off with your journey with the lockers right here. Of course, you got the robes you can change into. They've got the hair dryers, everything you need to get ready. 
You've got a couple showers around the corner. You also have a couple showers right here. And then you're gonna find the Whirl Tub. So this is a single person hot tub. You've got a chaise lounger in the corner. And as we head forward, you're gonna have quiet lounge chairs where you can hang out and relax. What's great about this is you can take advantage of those incredible forward facing views. There's also an aromatherapy steam room. And then you have a sauna where you can also get those incredible views out the side of the ship and the front of the ship. One little secret tip, if you're going to some of those more beautiful areas of the world, you can utilize this space to get some incredible observation. Now we're gonna head right around the corner into the main hydrotherapy area that's shared with gents and ladies. Now you're also gonna find all kinds of loungers along the front here as well. So if you wanna share that spa experience, this is that perfect space, you can sit next to your spouse. And you also are gonna have some chairs in the front because you can take advantage of the teas and the infused waters. Now all along, you're gonna find these relaxing loungers. Now I love the stone loungers, they're ergonomic, they're heated from the bottom, so they really do a great job on the back. I've had back issues for a long time, so after a day like today where we're in Rome, touring a beautiful city, come back and relax. Now as we head further along in the far corner, you're gonna find a jacuzzi hot tub, and then right in the middle, you've got the large Thessalo therapy pool. I really enjoy this as well. You got several different places. You've got the waterfalls over there, the bubblers, and I'll use that spigot for my back all the time. It really does loosen it all up. Now, once again, you're gonna have all the different spa experiences to choose from. This all is an upgrade. I highly recommend that you purchase it on the first day if you're interested because they only have limited spaces that they sell. Now, if you wanna work on your fitness here on board, they have the Pulse Fitness Center. Now, it's a really extensive gym. You're gonna find all kinds of cardio equipment. In fact, I love that it lines all the way along those windows. It's very motivating to be able to run, use the elliptical or bike as you're looking out at the beautiful ocean views. You've got a rowing machine tucked in the corner. You have all of your favorite circuit equipment as well. So you can see you can work upper body, lower body, everywhere in between. Now on the far side, you're gonna find that you have another area where you've got all the free weights, the barbells, dumbbells. There's quite a few different options there as well. Now you also have the aerobics studio where you're gonna find the classes. Now the classes do fill up, they come at an additional cost. So you definitely wanna stop by and sign up on the first day. Maybe you wanna do yoga, TRX, all kinds of different options that they have here on board. Now we just stepped inside the library and I love the idea that they still have an old school library here on board. We're seeing them disappear on a lot of cruise ships and I've found some of my favorite books while cruising over the years. So you see they have a wide variety of fiction and nonfiction. You can check those in and out. They also have an area where you can exchange books and a small internet cafe. So you've got different styles of seating in here. You can come relax during the day. They also have some writing desks where you can sit. Sometimes I'll work there and check out the incredible ocean views. Now, every time a ship visits a new port for the very first time, they're gonna get a plaque. Now, just outside the library, they have all the plaques along the wall here. I love that because it's all about the memories that have been created. In fact, right behind me, you'll find Livorno, which is where we'll be tomorrow. Now we're inside the card room. You can see here they have all the card tables set up. You have a wide variety of games as well. One of the cool things about this ship is it does some longer cruises. So gathering together to play bridge, hand and foot, whatever your favorite card games are, this is a wonderful social spot for that. Now, if you're ready for your close up, you're gonna to wanna to stop by the Perspectives Photo Studio. This is where you can get formal portraits taken. I love that concept. You can get together with the family, do that official family photo, whether it's for a Christmas card or just to hang it up on the wall. This is that great place to capture your smiles that I know you'll have on vacation. Now, all the way forward on deck 11, you'll find a unique feature to this ship and that's the Peekaboo Bridge. So it's a little seating area where you can sit and relax. They've got some plaques talking about some unique things about the gem. But from here, you can look right into the bridge right where the captain is. You can see all the different equipment, see them working. And I do like that they even have a little screen over here so you can see what they're seeing from the different types of temperatures, pressures, all kinds of really cool things. Now to have a great vacation, every member of the family has to have an incredible time. So we've stopped by the Splash Academy. Now it's set up for registration right now. You need to come by on boarding day. They're gonna go over all the details with you. You're also gonna let them know who can check in and check out the kiddos. Safety is paramount. So when I travel, I always let my parents check the kids in and out. Maybe some close family friends as well. My wife and I are having an amazing dinner at Cagney's. We don't have to be interrupted. My dad can come grab my daughter and head on out and have a great time. Now they have several different zones in here. This is all three to 12 years old. You're gonna find that they have different things that they're gonna be doing. So it's right brain, left brain. If they're creative, they're gonna have all kinds of arts and crafts. Now it's not all set up now, but you see the cabinets on the far side. They've got all the different styles of arts and crafts. They'll do science experiments. They're gonna learn and have an absolute blast. 
Now for the littlest cruiser, six months old all the way up to three, you've got the guppies area. Now this is an unhosted area. It's not a drop off, but you can bring the little kiddos by. They've got all kinds of different toys and equipment. They'll bring more of them out and it's where the parents can come hang out with the kids and have a little playtime for the youngest cruisers. Next up are the teenagers. And as a middle school teacher for over a decade, I know that they are the hardest audience to please. There's quite a bit of space here and the Entourage Teen Club. So right now I'm on the dance floor. You can see all the lights around here. They'll do really fun dance parties. They've got video games set up. You see a couple Wii's right there. Right around the corner, you're gonna have foosball. You also have air hockey. And then over here, they have several other video game consoles. So they've got PlayStation. It looks like they've also got Nintendo Switch. Now, as we head to the front here, you got it set up kind of like a, a bar style setup here. I love the concept there. So kids are having a great time, just like their parents will. And then right around the corner as well, there's a room where they can share. So if there's more teenagers, they can use that for movie night, for games, or if they have more of the younger kids, they can use that as overflow as well. Now there's also a lot of fun to be had in the arcade. Now this does come at an additional cost. You can purchase an unlimited package, but make sure you have that conversation with your kiddo or dad before you get on board. Now you've got different styles of games. They've got the claw games on the far side. I love the plucky ducky because you go until you get the prize. Especially important when you got the littlest kids who don't quite understand those games. Now along here, you've got Star Wars, Halo, you have Jurassic Park, all kinds of fun and air hockey right down the middle. Once again, a really fun arcade on board that does come at an additional cost. Now, all the way in the aft of the ship, you're gonna find the Bliss Lounge. Now, this is the main nightclub here on board. You'll see that they have seating wrapped all the way around. You've got kind of tiered styled seating with large booths on the top. And then down below, you've got sofas, chairs, and nice little areas where you can gather together. Now, right here, I'm on the dance floor. And just behind me, you're gonna find the bandstand. So they'll do live music in here. And then later in the evening, they turn it over to the DJ. You can see the DJ booth just behind, and you can rock the night away. Now they'll do different styles of theme parties in here throughout your cruise, which I really appreciate. And then after 11 p.m., this is gonna be 18 and up. So this becomes that adults only area where adults can be adults, have a great time, meet some new friends, and of course, have some cocktails. Now, speaking of cocktails, they've got a great bar in the back. And then there's also some really wonderful seating areas tucked back there as well. So if you're looking for a great nightclub experience or throughout the day when they use this for different styles of activities, the Bliss Lounge is a perfect place to stop by. Now, NCL's had a partnership with Park West Art Galleries for quite some time. You could take advantage of this just by stopping by and enjoying the beautiful art. Of course, you could also purchase art on board. That's what this really is for. They do some really cool auctions. You can learn about it. Of course, have some complimentary champagne. What you'll find is some of our favorites from Romero Brito. You've got Peter Max, Godard. You also have some Kincaids over there. So it's a great place to stop by or, of course, come by to purchase some art. Now, in addition to that, tucked in the corner, you're also gonna find the Internet Cafe. Now, most people bring on their own devices. Now, this really is that spot where you can stop by if you have any questions about the Internet. Maybe you wanna upgrade your package. Now, keep in mind, your hard travel advisor will guide you through it, but you may wanna consider that free at sea plus upgrade. You can do it with or without streaming, but that way you can knock your beverage package all the way up to the top. You can also get that streaming Internet, some extra dining, and quite a few other wonderful options. Now we're entering the photo gallery. So here's where you can purchase the photos that they take throughout the cruise. What you're gonna find is, with your permission, of course, when you board the ship, throughout the different experiences, they're happy to take photos, and they even do videography as well. Once again, always with your permission. And one great thing is you can look at all of them on the screens. Now, in the old days, you can actually see the old bookcases there where they used to print out every single picture on your cruise, and then you can choose from it. Now that we live in a digital world, you can purchase all of them on a thumb drive, you can purchase one of them, or of course, you can always decide to have them print it on a different style of media. Now, I also appreciate that they have a pretty good size retail shop in here. Maybe you wanna get a new camera. They also have different things like binoculars over there and even some of your favorite towel animal friends. Now, I also wanted to point out that they'll do formal sitting portraits. I know a lot of times it's hard to get the family together. We're all so busy at home and I love that you can dress up you can head out around the ship. They're happy to take photos there or in the studio. You can get that perfect Christmas card photo or just capture that incredible memory from the cruise. Now the atrium here on board the gem is kind of like the city center. It's a place where everybody gathers. You've got the atrium bar just behind me. You've got your favorite coffee shop over in the corner, Starbucks, of course. Now that Norwegian has that partnership, you'll find a real Starbucks on board every ship. Keep in mind that does come at an additional cost unless you go all the way up to that premium plus beverage package. 
Now tucked in the corner, you're gonna find the Cruise Next desk. That's where you can buy those Cruise Next certificates. They're gonna double up your money and lower your deposit for your next cruise. Now you can purchase those here on board. As soon as you get back, just let us know and we'll help you pick out your perfect cruise. And then of course, you'll get that Our Travel Signature service as we take care of all the details with you along the way. Next up is the Shore Excursions desk. Now you definitely wanna book your Shore Excursions before you arrive on board. They start to open up about a year out and usually by that six month mark, they're all out there. Now you can stop by the Shore Excursions desk to make any changes. Of course, you can purchase Shore Excursions there as well. And they've done quite a few of them, so they're incredibly insightful and they can share their knowledge. Now you've got the passenger services desk right in the middle. Now this is kind of like the front desk of a hotel. It's where they're gonna take care of all the money related things, questions about your room, even making reservations. They have the restaurant reservation desk right there as well. Keep in mind that it does get a little busy on boarding day and right before you disembark that night before. So I definitely recommend taking care of your business throughout the cruise. Finally, you've got Tides. This is another high-end retail shop taking advantage of those duty-free prices. You've got some high-end watches and jewelry to choose from. Now also here, you're gonna find the grand piano. I love that when you board and then throughout your cruise, you've got some wonderful music in here. Now just behind me, you have the massive LED screen. So they'll put different kinds of games, they'll even play games here, different shows, even movies in this space. And then what I love about it is it's all tied together to Ocean's Pub. As you head just up the steps, you're gonna find that incredible 24 hour pub experience. In fact, let's head up and check it out now. Just up the stairs from the atrium, you're gonna find Oceans. Now this is another one of those things that Norwegian gets exactly right. It's a 24 hour diner. Food is such a big part of a cruise experience. I love that they have this casual option throughout the day and all throughout the night as well. So it's gonna have different menus for breakfast. We oftentimes will come here, have some hash browns, pancakes, French toast, omelets, things along those lines. And then it'll progress throughout the day. They'll have a lunch menu, they'll have a dinner menu, and then later in the evening, it kind of opens up. Personally, I've had wings here at one, two, three in the morning a few dozen times. They have a great dessert menu as well. Now, as we walk through the space, I wanted to point out that it wraps around the atrium. So from up here, you can see the giant LED screen down below. So if they put a big game on, you can see that there. And you can also be part of the fun. They'll do games, entertainment down there. Now, as we step up further, you're gonna find that you have tables for two and four. It's definitely styled as a classic pub. You can see that on all the tables, they've got the condiments because as I mentioned, this is a fantastic casual dining experience. Now, my personal favorite place to sit is the booths by the windows. You can get that incredible ocean views or if you're in port as well. Once again, Oceans, your 24 hour casual dining experience. Now, those of you who love delicious Asian food, you're really gonna enjoy the options here on board the Gem. So this is the Orchid Garden Asian restaurant. And we'll start off with my favorite spot. That of course is the sushi bar. So I always reserve sushi just about every single day. And then I head out and eat at the rest of the restaurants. They have some delicious rolls to choose from, and it kind of steps right in to the Asian fusion restaurant. So there's two separate spots. Once again, you can sit at the sushi bar, but you can order sushi in the restaurant as well. You're gonna find all of your favorite classics. So you've got orange peel beef, hot and sour soup. You've got some delicious noodle dishes as well. It's truly an Asian fusion restaurant. You're gonna find some Chinese, some Thai inspiration, Japanese inspiration as well. Once again, you can see the restaurant here. You've got booths by the windows for four. You also have tables for two and larger tables as well. Now keep in mind to complement this, they also have teppanyaki. It's two different experiences. Let's head in and check that out now. Now teppanyaki is another Norwegian classic and this is incredibly popular. So I highly recommend that you pre-book this specific restaurant. Now what it is, is dinner and a show. So the chefs will set up here. You're gonna choose what you want. They always make the fried rice. It's absolutely delicious. My daughter eats it up and absolutely loves it. And then you can choose your main. So whether you want a fish dish, you want steak, that's always my favorite, it's absolutely delicious. They've got vegetarian options as well. So you can sit here, they're gonna sing, you're gonna dance, you're gonna pound the table just a little bit and have an absolutely delicious meal and a show. As we head forward on deck seven, we're gonna find the Trade Winds retail area. Now, the reason people purchase retail on board a cruise ship is it's duty free. So once you get out into international waters, you can see it's closed now because we're in port, but once you get out of this area, they're gonna not have to charge any taxes. Now, depending on what you're purchasing, that could be a significant amount tobacco, alcohol, even jewelry, a lot of times there's quite a bit of those tariffs built in. 
So you'll see behind me, you've got the Effie shop. So you're gonna have that partnership with between Norwegian and Effie where you can get all kinds of high-end jewelry. They also have a great watch shop. You've got all your favorite Norwegian gem logo wear items here. And then as we continue along, you're gonna find the area where you can get cosmetics, perfumes. And then over here, I mentioned it a second ago, but you've got tobacco and alcohol products that are generally significantly less expensive than at land. So once again, you wanna spend a little bit of those casino earnings, or you just wanna have a great time and upgrade your wardrobe, you can do that right here in Tradewinds. Now, all the way forward, you're gonna find the main theater. You can see it's a really large space and they put on some incredible productions. Right now, my favorite is Blazing Boots. It's a country style concept here. But more than that, this is the place where you're gonna have entertainment just about every single night. So as I mentioned, they'll have the big Broadway style spectaculars, Vegas style reviews, but you're also gonna have a lot of guest entertainers that'll come on board. Whether it's a magician, a comedian, a singer, maybe even a band coming to put on a big show, this is that spot where you can come for world-class entertainment. Now, in addition to that, you'll also find some great guest lecturers in here. They really do dig into the destinations that you visit so you can learn about where you're going, come back later in the evening, and enjoy all the incredible music, singing, and dancing. This beautiful space is the Grand Pacific Dining Room. It's one of the two main dining rooms here on board. And what you're gonna find is this is that complimentary venue where you can try all kinds of new things. Personally, I found some of my favorite dishes on a cruise ship because you can keep ordering and maybe you wouldn't do that land side. I've found some delicious options and I know you will as well. So they're gonna have a rotational menu in here. It'll be something new each and every day. Of course, they always have your classic favorites as well. Now, I did want to point out that on boarding day, generally this is open for lunch. You're going to want to check the schedule because sometimes it's open sea days, not always on port days, but it's that wonderful place where you can always have dinner. Sometimes it's open for breakfast and lunch as well. Now, you're going to find quite diverse seating in here, tables for two all the way up for tables for 10. Make sure if you have a larger party, you do request that. Now, I personally love to go to the very, very back. I always ask to be seated by the large windows in the back. You can get some incredible views, and when you're sailing, it's absolutely magnificent. Now the second main dining room is the Magenta dining room. There is really no difference with what they serve. It's just a different space. It's absolutely beautiful as well. This one's gonna be midship. Now it is important to understand that both of the main dining rooms are gonna be accessed from the top down. So you're gonna head down the elevator bank. They do have the galley in the middle. So when you're accessing them, just check the sign right up above. Now you're gonna find that they have a large collection of wine. They do an incredible job with the sommeliers partnering it or pairing it with your favorite dishes. So my high recommendation is to ask the waiters. They have incredible feedback on what people prefer. And then in addition to that, if you're a vinophile, we know you're gonna love this space. Make sure you dig in and pair it beautifully. Now, as we head into Le Bistro, you can see they also updated the beautiful decor here. You might think that you're on the Prima or the Viva. It's absolutely stunning. Now, this is a Norwegian favorite. It is all about classic French food. You can start out with your escargot, work all the way through the coca vin, and then have some delicious desserts as well. Now, if you love French food, this is that menu that you're gonna fall in love with. Now, I love the new seating area. So you've got booth style seating, some new areas like this. You've got tables for two by the window, tables for four here as well. Now, as we head around the corner, I did wanna point out that Norwegian has a partnership with Veuve Clicquot. So if you're looking for some delicious champagne paired beautifully with a French meal, this is that perfect spot. Now that does fill up, so make sure that you stop by on boarding day or pre-book your restaurant reservation. Keep in mind, if you're in the Haven, you're gonna get early access. If you have one of the club balcony suites, you also have early access to dining as well, so you can get exactly what you want. Keep in mind, we do have those rooms and suites on our channel for you to check out to pick the perfect option for you. Now, if you enjoy a delicious cocktail, let me introduce you to Bar City. So this is a series of three bars. You'll really see the renovation here. It's absolutely stunning. The very first one is a very familiar bar for those of you who love Norwegian, and that's Malting's Beer and Whiskey Bar. So they have a really incredible collection of different styles of whiskey, whether you're looking for a Scotch whiskey, a bourbon, they've got all of them and they're absolutely delicious. Now they do have some special editions as well. They have a great full tap of beer options. And this is a little bit more on the masculine side, if you will. You'll see it really transitions to three separate bar areas, but one large bar. Now the next one is Shaker's Martini Bar and Cocktail Bar. So this is where you're gonna find me most nights. They make an incredible martini. You'll see right in the middle, they got my favorite, the Tanker A10. And now it really starts to open up. So you're gonna have seating on the sides by the windows here. You'll also have seating at the bar. And then when we head around the corner, it kind of opens up into the atrium. 
So it's open to the deck above. You've got a nice large lounge area here, beautiful modern furniture. They've got a bandstand. And this is one of my favorite spots to go in the early evening before we head to dinner. They're gonna have great musical entertainment and it's just a really good place to relax. Now behind me is the final of the three bars here in Bar City. You're gonna find Magnum, Champagne, and Wine Bar. So just like they'll do at the Whiskey Bar, they're gonna do different styles of tastings here. So if you're a vinophile, you're sure to find one that is absolutely delicious. And I really love the expansive collection of champagne. My wife and I have really started to enjoy some of the higher end champagnes, and this is a perfect spot for that. Now in addition, they also have the Corona Cigar Club. Let's head over there and check it out. Now, cigar and cognac is a wonderful way to end the night, and this is a perfect spot for that. So you can take advantage of the full bar menu. They also have quite a few different cigar options for you to choose from. This is your humidor and cigar bar area. Now, if you love a great stogie, this is a perfect spot to stop by. So it is a smoking area, keep that in mind. They do have some great ventilation in here, but it's a place where you can grab a cigar, maybe a delicious cognac, come in, sip, savor, and meet some new friends. Now, if you like a game of chance, of course, they have a large casino here on board. You're gonna find all your favorites. They've got a ton of slot machine options. I love that they have the multi-game options as well. You can play some Kino, old school slot machines where you can pull down on the handle, and then all the modern games. Now, of course, those who prefer the table games, they have a wide assortment as well. You've got Ultimate Texas Hold'em, you've got Blackjack, you also have Craps, Roulette, and I love that they have Hand Dealt Texas Hold'em. Now, Norwegian does have a tournament of sorts where you can play here on different cruises and you can earn your way into the main tournament. This year in 2023, it's actually on the Norwegian Joy in the fall. Now you see behind me, you've got more of the table games there. There's the craps table, blackjack, and tucked in the far corner, if you're looking for some high-end gaming, they also have a high roller room with baccarat and blackjack. Outside on deck seven, you're gonna find the promenade deck. Now this goes back to the old days of cruising, back when the passengers would come on out, promenade around, be seen. And this is also a wonderful place where you can sit and relax, especially on a sea day. So they'll set up the loungers. You can see a few of them here. There's shuffleboard and some fun games along here, but it's a great place to step out, have a breath of fresh air. And it's also a wonderful place to go if you're visiting one of the scenic parts of our world and you wanna get up and close with that incredible scenery. Now I figured since we're sailing out of Italy today, what better place to close it out than here in La Cucina. I hope you've enjoyed your time with us and seen why we love the Norwegian Gem and all of her incredible upgrades during the renovation. They've got phenomenal dining, entertainment, excellent service. It's really a wonderful ship that travels all around the world. When you're ready to spend some time on the Gem or any ship in the fleet with Norwegian, Regent, or Oceana, make sure you reach out to the experts at Har Travel or book it right on hartravel.com. We know we help, can help craft your cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now it's time for a spicy mitzvah.